So if she signs, you know, the Imber form and you guys start talking directly, she will have to translate your messages. It's very time consuming. Things, you know, just make sense to continue corresponding through the website. You know, so many guys out there are so afraid to do this, and yeah. when they hear about you and other guys that went over and came back alive and successful, then they're like, oh, well, maybe this isn't just a big scam. Maybe this is no, real. No, it is not a scam. It definitely is not a scam. It's <laughs> not. I mean, you could always find women that might play games. I mean, you're dealing with real people, right? So, you know, sometimes right, you right. might run into something like that, but, you know, for the most part, it's just people trying to meet each other, and what happens, right. happens. And That's uh, what I found, too. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, they're so um, my wife to be. Uh, she is so genuine, so kind. I mean, it's just it was hard not to fall in love with her. <laughs> Uh, do the women on AFA ever send the Imbra before meeting a guy? I want to get personal contact details, but I want to know if they will send before meeting me in person. Well, the only way to know that is ask a woman, because every woman has a you know, different opinion on the subject. And also, in, more, in some countries, it's more common than another. For example, let's start with China. I experienced that very few women in China are willing to sign that Imbra forum uh, for multiple reasons, because, well, China is on lockdown, God only knows when it will open up. It's convenient for a woman to correspond through the website, her messages translated and all that. So if she signs, you know, the Imbra form and you guys start talking directly, so for like another year she will have to translate your messages, it's very time consuming. And she knows she will just give up on the whole thing, you know, in the process. So she just thinks, you know, just makes sense to continue corresponding through the website. Again, because it's free for her, it's convenient for her. So some of women in China sign it, but overall I would say it's not very common. For the most of it, women, you know, say, well, I want to meet a man in person, see that he's not a Ted Bundy, uh, see if we have a connection, see, you know, you know where things go, see, see if he's serious, and then I'd be happy to, you know, obviously to talk to him directly, date him and all that happy stuff, but I need to meet him first because, you know, taking the time of the day, you know, they work in long hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours, day, day after day, you know, the last thing she wants to come home and sit down with a dictionary or even an electronic translator to translate your messages. And another thing why women don't want to sign Imbra is, you know, on the, when the correspondent goes through the website, there is a cost involved and you guys don't write as much. So you send one message a day, a week, whatever it is you're comfortable with. As soon as a guy gets a woman direct contact information, he literally starts, not, I'm not saying it's all of you guys, but bombing. You know, he, just, uh -huh. he just starts bombarding with your those yeah. Viber, WhatsApp messages, day and night, day and night, and it's just, you know, irritating, and frustrating. Guys, just remember time difference, and it's probably coming to her at night, it will be not good, you know. Yeah, so it's and one thing to do. In my experience, I noticed that girls who, speaks e this, who speak English, uh, she will give it, uh, you know, uh, they will give that Imbra form, uh, sign the Imbra form and give you information. And the girls who, you know, don't speak English, they, of course, it's more comfortable for them uh, to use the agent in, uh, you know, our agency there. You know, they're like, uh, they're a secretary, so they receive a letter, translate it, give it to her. It's, you know, very easy for her and comfortable. Yeah, it is you convenient, know. yes. And some women just not comfortable for security purposes, again, giving away their contact information because, well, there have been different cases, you know, 
there have been some experiences, so if a woman, you know, gave away her phone number in the past and guys started just calling her and stalking her, sometimes people <laughs> take it a little too far. So I can I can see actually I mean I mean I know cases when guys would you know physically stalk a woman would find out you know when they, you know they went on a couple of dates and well woman figure out well they're not really compatible and starts you know ghosting away and says so st stop uh, communicating with the guy for obvious reasons she's not interested then the man gets all you know frustrated and starts stalking her sitting next to her apartment complex the day and night at her entrance starts calling her parents, that's a real case. Found out phone number of her parents and started started calling them and telling them that their daughter this, this and this and very inappropriate expression. And the girl did nothing, she just didn't want to go out with the guy anymore. understand why you want her information you think it's all good you're in a relationship even you know you wrote her letters uh, I mean and you think you're in a relationship in a good relationship you're getting her contact information paying uh, what is it uh, can we say how much for a fee uh, well, yeah, I mean yeah it's for uh, 400 bucks for the yeah sign. all right 400 dollars and go there and it nothing happened you know for us, we always recommend it to like uh, talk to five girls at least, you know, maybe write them letter from time to time and go see five girls, not to, or just one, you know, that will be better. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, 400 bucks is a pretty you know, significant amount of money and there is no guarantee it will go anywhere. So the same thing, you know, you can get your contact information, start writing and then she just gets tired of it or she meets a local guy or whatever, 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 she disappears from the face of the earth and you know you feel frustrated and you know you don't know what to do yeah or so we, we strongly recommend you do not put all eggs in one basket so definitely. just to find a couple of girls you know three five girls and to go meet them there you don't need that imbra form even if you get that imbra form. i even had experience there was a wonderful relationship uh, through letters and then he got her contact information and she just start, stopped talking to him. Not sure why, maybe he really bummed her with all that messages and everything. You know, it just, sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, it could be multiple reasons for that. And experience the romantic adventure of a lifetime. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Check out our website at foreign-affair.net. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.